ladies and gentlemen, you're very nice. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Stephen Colbert. Well, welcome to the Late Show. Well, uh, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but internal strife is tearing the Republican Party apart at the seams. It's like a new civil war. Only this time, neither side is trying to help black people. <laughs> the latest shots from Fort Trumpter are against Tennessee senator and man seeing his daughter's neck tattoo for the first time. <laughs> Bob Corker. Corker and Trump have been fighting. They've been head to head like two rams for a while now. You might recall that uh, Corker called the White House, quote, an adult daycare center. Okay? <laughs> Clever. Not entirely accurate. Uh -huh. With Trump, you also need a night shift. <laughs> All right? He gets into things. He's like a raccoon! He's like a raccoon! <laughs> I don't know if raccoons do that, but I'm going to do that. So, uh, I figured it was time to give them their own segment on this show, which I wanted to call Cork a Sock in It. Uh -huh. But I have a team of talented comedy writers, and I knew that we could do better than that. So we all gathered in a room today, put on a pot of coffee, and brainstormed for hours. And now, Late Show viewers, I present to you our newest segment, Cork a Sock in It! <laughs> Turns out, I get to do whatever I want. It's my show. The latest feud between these two started bright and early today when Corker went on all the morning shows to criticize Donald Trump, and Trump was watching, because <laughs> he immediately tweeted, Bob Corker, who helped President O give us the bad Iran deal and couldn't get elected dog catcher in Tennessee, is now fighting tax cuts Dot, 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 dot. Corker dropped out of the race in tennis when I refused to endorse him and now is only negative on anything Trump. Look at his record. Really? Really? Hey, tennis. Tennis? Just a, just a quick tip. When you're ripping a politician, it helps to spell the name of their state right. I don't like Joe Haunted Mansion. He will never get reelected by the good people of West Vagina. <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring. It's not gonna help. <laughs> Whoa, you gotta spell almost, it right. Yes, almost heaven, West Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That's really hard to sing. Uh, would have been a hit, though. I bet that would have been a hit. We miss you. Now, some of what Trump said about Corker was not true, specifically, all of it. And <laughs> Corker pointed that out. Same untruths from an utterly untruthful president. Hashtag alert daycare staff. <laughs> <laughs> Trump immediately tweeted back, Isn't it sad that lightweight Senator Bob Corker, who couldn't get reelected in the great state of Tennessee, will now fight tax cuts plus? What is tax cuts plus? <laughs> that sounds like tax cuts for husky boys. <laughs> He'll grow into it. Now, Trump tweet continued. Senator Corker is the incompetent head of the Foreign Relations Committee. Look how poorly the U.S. has done. He doesn't have a clue as dot, 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 the entire world was laughing and taking advantage of us. People like little Bob Corker have set the U.S. way back. Now we move forward. Yes, now America is moving forward. Just like Thelma and Louise. <laughs> Just holding hands. Just holding hands. And Jim, can I just see part of that tweet again? Liddle. L I D D L E, and then an apostrophe. That's not how apostrophes work. To use an apostrophe, something's got to be missing other than brain cells. In fact, You can't use apostrophes like I'm getting here's my guess. Yeah. My guess yeah. is the president thinks apostrophes 
is a Greek philosopher. <laughs> I love the works of apostrophes. He's better than parentheses. Uh, I love, I love Plato and, uh, ooh, and a side of tzatziki. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Trump came over for lunch today. He went over to the Senate today. Trump went over to the Senate for lunch today. But Corker didn't think much would get done. I do look at these things as more of a, you know, photo op. They're not really about substance, but, uh, you know, um, uh, more power to him. No less power to him! <laughs> you already made him the most powerful man in the world! Because you helped get him elected. But you know what? Corker, even though he campaigned for Trump, he might, he might regret supporting Trump. Let's find out. Do you regret supporting him in the election? Uh, well, let's just put it this way. I would not do that again. <laughs> he would not do it again. Let, let's just put it, let's just put it this way. Too late, Senator. And Corker's not alone. This afternoon, we got some huge news from one-term Arizona Senator and upright golden retriever Jeff Flake. I'm announcing today that my service in the Senate will conclude at the end of my term in early January 2019. Mr. President, I rise today to say enough. I must say that we have fooled ourselves for long enough that a pivot to governing is right around the corner. A return to civility, civility and stability right behind it. We know better than that. Mr. President, I will not be complicit or silent. No, I will be complicit and absent. Now, Flake has been an outspoken critic of the president's for a while, but today he really unloaded. Despotism loves a vacuum, and our allies are now looking elsewhere for leadership. Anger and resentment are not a governing philosophy. Alliances and agreements that ensure the stability of the entire world are routinely threatened by the level of thought that goes into 140 characters. Now, hold on. You're acting like all Donald Trump does is go on Twitter to threaten global stability. He also threatens football players. <laughs> a flake said, yes, I will stand up for you, sir. Flake said that we don't just owe it to ourselves to oppose Trump, we also owe it to our children. It is often said that children are watching. Well, they are. And what are we going to do about that? When the next generation asks us, why didn't you do something? Why didn't you speak up? What are we going to say? Well, I think in the future, Jeff Flake will say, I waited until I was quitting my job to point out the boss was a lunatic. Now sit down and eat your radioactive dog meat. <laughs> now, oh. they're listening. Oh. Come on, Fido. They're listening. Oh. Come on, Fido. Oh. But Senator Flake sees a light at the end of the tunnel, not just for him, but for all of us. This spell will eventually break. That is my belief. We will return to ourselves once more, and I say the sooner the better. Oh, that's what this is. We're all under a spell. It's all detailed in the new book, Harry Potter and the Half-Wit Prez. <laughs> but... <laughs> Expello Trumpum! First McCain, then Corker, now Flake. Why is it that Republicans only speak up against Donald Trump when they know they're not running for re-election? They finally grow a set, then they say, I'm taking my balls and going home. <laughs> and... <laughs> and... <laughs> better. That's better. <laughs> 